We weren't making the calico like this. Move, Gravener. I order you not to let me die like that. I almost had her. If it weren't for that old wound. Oh, Jesus Christ, don't get old, son. Yeah, yeah, never get married. Now stop blabbing, you're gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. We need to stop! Stop?! We need to get the fuck out of here! We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we head to Calico. My wife could blow this defensive position over with a wet fart. We need the higher ground. And that's where the sun will hit first. I'll get the horses, and we'll stand our ground up there.
Lightning? Good thing we still got a big shiny ace up our sleeve. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think he's breathing. Calico, it's around the corner. There's a doctor there. Protocol Epsilon. Sit down and roll up your sleeve. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. engineer Virgil Virgil only it's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh <laughs> sir 
Your gauntlet is a thing of beauty. Only a genius could- I need that fixed. Yesterday. I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel, sir. I mean... How are we doing? Arrow needs a scapegoat. He won't leave without someone to blame for that fiasco. Pissed off little Highborn looking for her maker's head? No one could have predicted that. I don't think she did all that for just Abano. We're missing something. I bet my last buck we'll heal more from this Felicity tick pretty soon. I'm gonna check if Amelia needs some backup with Harrow. Who do I have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly <clears throat> fuck to get some coffee around here? What a day. See you in the briefing room. Owe you everything, Doctor. Need to check on my gauntlet first. There must be a workshop somewhere around. Mr. Rentier, Mr. Harrow wants to see you as soon as you're done in the workshop. Mr. Harrow is waiting for you in the briefing room, sir. Yeah, yeah, heard that already. Think he is the heir to the fucking crowd. According to the protocols, if the director is unable to fulfill his duties, his next of kin takes. And DC agreed to that. When I got your goddamn gilded invitation, I expected champagne and canapes. Instead, some fag fuck broke into your headquarters and slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies! Now the entire country is left unprotected while I stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot! So again, could someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the Capitol that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll take care of it, sir. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trapping, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival rate in the Institute as well as its very best engineer. We are your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk first thing, Doctor. And who the fuck are you? I, uh, uh, um... <sighs> Wait a minute. I'm the best engineer? You better be, because we need this thing operational as soon as possible, before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Arrow can suck my... How bad is it? Well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Then we have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. We ain't got that long. We have to be ready to take down this Felicity character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. To the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. And reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. And we chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top sanguisuge expert to investigate. 
I hope by expert you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute's Sangrasuge Best. We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research. into. This species appears to possess shape-shifting abilities, most uncommon for the typical sanguisuge. I dare say, this ability might be blood-dependent, but it's hard to tell based on the limited amount of evidence found. I'm wondering if we're witnessing some sort of accelerated evolution, spurred perhaps by certain unknown environmental factors. Terribly wrong is happening here. Got it. Let's check this beauty out. All mine.
Almost there. Finders keepers. Ooh, that's tight. This canyon is protected like some kind of vault. What are they hiding here?
starting to lose hope I'll find Bloom in one piece. Research continues, but nothing I've seen explains the unusual capabilities of this curious animal. Judging by the diameter of the tunnels it creates, I estimate it stands at least eight feet tall and is quite powerful. thing Bloom was looking for.
More money. Flying creatures most disturbing. They appear in large numbers, protecting the newly transformed sanguisuges like hornets guarding their hive. It's not clear if that's their only purpose. Perhaps they also gather sustenance and function as scouts. Where the heck did it go? <sighs> yeah, looks like I'm getting closer to its nest. <gasps> What a stench.
anyone there? <sighs> Bloom? Is that you down there? Uh, yes, it's it's me, but who are <sighs> Whoa. You're Jesse Rinnie, sir. Splendiferous. Care to explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, oh. Uh, well, I was sent here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisuge. When I arrived, I encountered a group of familiars, apparently sent here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab. Still beats me what those familiars were doing here. Well, from what I could gather, they were sent on a transport detail, securing a convoy of carts filled with some curious, wriggly little creatures they brought from the Callum sawmill. Uh, we need to check that place out. To in such a hurry. Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The ones William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... Uh... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Jess, hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say... The man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Morapass? That plan that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day? I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Dabano and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, but you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. And no one asks you to. But if I fail... You and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William, just in case I don't make it back in time. They're waiting for you in her lab. That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. Fighting each other for centuries. Like every other creature, they change over time to get an upper hand against us. Until recently, the Sanguisuge reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. But now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. 
They're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. If anything, they're a step backwards, mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is De Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi! Holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is. Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well... Maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original Disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? Got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Virch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, transport. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Ro Roger that, Mr. Jesse. Machinery there. Wonder if I can get it working. Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. Yesterday we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite. But it didn't budge. The higher-ups instructed Angus to use a much larger charge, but all that did was cause a cave-in. Many men were lost. Angus and Eastwood among them.
need that. Any luck with the coils? No. They must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks. Eighteen ninety Baxter. With the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never could have imagined before. Like the invention of the repeating rifle and the Gatling gun, it will revolutionize our ability to wage war against our natural enemies. Indian. What is that a picture of? Down those rails. And how would I do that? There's got to be another way down. soon be returning home as the mine has been shut down. Agents of the Rentier Institute showed up and ordered everyone out. No one knows what they're doing down there, but there are strange things afoot. Today is my last day, and I am glad of it. There's something evil in the darkness of that mine, and I look forward to leaving it behind. Switch.
Got it. Mr. Jesse, I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well... <sighs> of course it's not working. Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing. the other two and we can open the gate and get down there can't anything be simple here
Gotta squeeze through. Okay. Take that. Got the second one. Taking it. I can see that, you know. Sir, are you sure about this? You said down those rails is the best way to go. Uh, maybe the fastest, but the safest? I'm not so sure. You're no fun, Verge. So there is another way down. But I'm sure yours was more exciting. You gotta see this. With this workstation, you can easily upgrade your tech all by yourself now. Wait, have I just made myself useless? No, you're still good for comic relief. I am?
Ready to roll, sir? Must have moved deeper down into the cave, sir. Along with the coils. Let's get them. we found there leads us to believe that some kind of ancient creature is hibernating down in those mines. Local Indian legends refer to the name of Paisa, but the depiction doesn't hold much resemblance to any sandwich shoes we previously encountered.
right there, Verge? I am, as long as that big, ugly, fat thing is dead for good. Mr. Jesse? Well done, Verge. Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, as long as you can grope your way for the coils here. Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jesse. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big glamour for, I guess. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly-ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, kid. Let's find a place where you can fix the gauntlet. Because we need it ready for action. 